Hey guys, and welcome to the new series. Welcome to One Finger Death Punch. So this is the series that will be replacing uh, Skulls of the Shogun in the you know the Let's Play lineup, along with currently uh, with the Pokemon Sienna and Risk of Rain. And it's always subject to change. Last thing I want to do is say, like, oh yeah, that's the lineup, and then something gets changed. So currently, uh, that's what it's going to be rotated out with uh, every other day, every other other day. So uh, yeah. I got this game a while ago, and I actually played it on the live stream. And uh, some people liked it, some people didn't. But you know, I purchased the game. I want to beat it, of course. I don't want to just you know waste my money. I want to purchase the game and be like, okay, well, no one wants to watch it, so I'm not going to play it. But uh, you know, it's not the most interesting game. The game mechanics are really simple, but gosh, it's a really cool game. And I, I really, I just love how they uh, how they did this game. It's really simple yet really fun. So, you can either play with your mouse and you can click left and right, or you can use an Xbox controller. I'm not sure what the control buttons are. I think it's maybe X and B. I don't know. But um, I'm going to go ahead and try to try it out with the Xbox controller because I haven't tried it out with the Xbox controller yet. And yeah. So, the way that this, uh, this is going to go uh, window went out of focus. Click the window to refocus. What do you mean, click the window? Okay. So it's it's a it's a simple game. You cannot move in this game. Wait for enemies to enter the zone. Okay. The okay, so I think it's X and B. Notice how the gray enemies take one hit. Press X now to attack this enemy. Wait for enemies to approach you. Fight. So like I said, it's a simple game. Yeah. It's a it's a really cool game. I love how, you know, they did all the animations and you can go ahead and kick everybody's butt and really I just think it's cool, so I'm gonna start from the beginning. Uh, I did get a couple levels done in the live stream, and I decided to go ahead and uh, go back and do these for, uh, you know, for just you know content purpose. But I did beat this level. This is the tutorial level. So the way I'm gonna do it is uh, each episode will be about maybe 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the stage, and uh, I'm just gonna keep playing until I beat it. So I'm not going to record these ahead of time, uh, when I record these they'll probably be like the day, the day before. This number is your overall mastery. And if I do like, you know, the day before I won't be ahead and uh, everything should be fine. So let's try this again. Okay. So the game starts off kind of slow, but it definitely speeds up. And I, you know, if you guys don't want to watch this series, don't, you don't have to. But definitely, I just wanted to beat this game, and, uh... Hold on, I'm trying to focus. Okay. Wow! Ah. One, two, three, four... Wait, I don't know what that was. It's like, it told me to go back with X for a second, but I didn't see anything. Definitely, I just want to go ahead and beat this game because, you know, I purchased it. And, you know, I want to, I at least want to get my money back for it. Like I say, if you don't want to watch it, you don't have to. Uh, but I'm definitely going to go ahead and play this game and beat it. And if I want to play it and beat it, then, you know, I might as well have uh, you guys join me if you want to. So there are uh, other series that will be uh, doing this. I don't think that this game will last that long on the channel. Okay. But uh, after this game is finished, I'll probably be playing a uh, a game that I another game that I did on the live stream, which was a uh, in the live stream, which was a uh, Tower Knight. And then once that game is done, then we can start starting on some other game. Uh, there's one game that I purchased, but I'm not exactly sure that I want to play it just because uh, it, it's kind of like it's Binding of I Isaac esque, but it's really not the best. It's kind of like it's like Binding of Isaac, except the only problem is that it's like you you have to pretty much do a a certain amount of. Uh, 
a certain order of things. You can't just, you know, it's not like, uh, roguelike where, you know, you get items. There's actually, a, a method to the madness, and I don't really like that. I like Binding of Isaac because, you know, it's roguelike. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> like, these may be little stick for you dudes, but... God, that make it gruesome. Again? Wow, okay. <laughs> I'm just impaling everybody. So, uh, I'm not sure if it'll be the funnest game, because, you know, it's pretty much just following a storyline. The game is really difficult, and then if you fail, you start over, and then you do the same thing over and over and over. You know, uh, now, people were compi uh, comparing to Bind uh, Binding of Isaac. Uh, no, Northern Lion played on his channel for a little while, but then he ended up stopping because it was just too damn repetitive. And I, uh, I, I definitely feel where he's coming from. I mean, I found it entertaining to watch, but, you know, definitely people were finding it boring, so. I'm not sure. I mean, I purchased the game, and I'm not sure if that's what I want to do, but I guess we'll find out. I'll probably ask you guys. But there's one game in particular that I definitely want to purchase, I definitely want to play, and ever since it came out, I, I saw it, I wanted to play it. So, I'm definitely looking forward to playing that one for you guys. After this one and, uh, Tower Knight. That was hard. That was kind of difficult. Okay, so that's as far as I got on the stream. So now I can go ahead and do one of these two levels. I don't know which one I want to do, but I mean, I'll probably do both. I'll probably just complete this game. Oh, so they can dodge behind me. Okay, that's a new game mechanic that I haven't experienced before. Ooh, get kicked in the face. Get kicked in the face again. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, sometimes this game gets confusing. Oh, okay. They just keep on throwing new mechanics at me, and I'm not ready. So we got three daggers. I don't know what that does. When you kill an enemy carrying a dagger, you get to throw three daggers instead of the usual one. Okay. You may only have three skills active. Each equipped skill will become active while playing a stage once you kill a certain amount of enemies. For example, the three dagger skill activates after you kill one enemy. When one enemy is killed, your skill will become active and will be ready to use. Once active, the skill will work on its own. For example, the three dagger skill, once active, will allow you to throw three daggers instead of your usual one. All skills are passive and will work according to their description. Once the skill is used, the kill requirement is reset, and you will need to kill more enemies in order to use this skill. Okay, I get it, I get it. Okay, I'm gonna go and do the arrow, because I'm getting passive skills, so go ahead and do that too. And I know, no, you gotta see in that boss level, but I'm not gonna do that yet. You can see that in the next episode. So, that's, that's just a short little series. Nothing uh, too big. So if you want to watch it, then go ahead, but I just want to go ahead and beat this game, and uh, get my money, of course. You know, it's like, it's like, oh yeah, you got the three daggers, like, what do you mean I got the three daggers? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just, I'm just, when they tell me to press it, I press it, and it's simple as that. It's as simple as that. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So I guess I have two skills now. 
Alright, so we still got a long way to go in this game, but next level is the boss and we are going to beat that. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, first episode of One Finger Death Punch to an extent. Like I said, it's not the most engaging or interesting game, but it's a cute little game that I wanted to go ahead and beat because I purchased it. Uh, if you don't want to watch it, don't have to. I'm still going to play it. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching this first episode. Thanks for all support. If you want to continue to support the series, please like this video and all the other videos in the series. And I will see you guys next time with some more One Finger Death Punch. Thanks for watching.